Have we started? Do I look Have okay? We start? Do I? Do we look okay? <laughs> do we look okay? Do we look okay? Do we look? Do I look okay. good? Okay or okay? Do we look okay? Like bad? Or do okay? we look bad? Or do we look Is okay? It on? Is the camera on? <laughs> Is this on? Do we I'm look okay? On. I'm really turned on. I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> do we look okay? Do we look okay? <laughs> Just an hour of that. Do we do we look there's no okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Let's so, cut to the I wanna tell you how risky my outfit is right now. There's no headphones and no, no microphone. It's the thing. It's the lavalier. Mm. Do you want to know why it's risky? I'm on my period. Do I want a wise whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> why this outfit is oh, risky. risky. Oh, that is I'm on my... And you're on a white chair. Yeah, I've and I'm known... on my period. The one of, I once did a podcast and I bled on their seat. That's what I'm saying. I like living life on the wild side. Like when I Who get knows? up, it could absolutely be red. <laughs> it's a risk she's willing to take. That's right. Wait, so let me hear more about that. The bleeding on the seat? Yeah. This was before I did any podcast. It was Shit. like years ago. This guy from a 12-step program was like, you want to do my podcast? I was like, sure. I don't, I've never heard it. I think that was the only episode they ever had. <laughs> and I bled on their seat. And that's why they quit? <laughs> They're like, this can't happen. That's now, every why time they I gave up the podcast. They were like, fuck this. <laughs> Burn the set. Every time I see him now, he's like, you bled on my seat. And I'm like, okay, I know. He I just brings have to not... it up? He brings it up. Yeah. Now, does he bring it up in like a funny way? Or is it like, bro, um, stop. Well, I just don't take it embarrassmently. No. Hold that's on. right. That's that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't, don't make take it, it embarrassingly. Yeah. I don't take it embarrassingly. So he could say whatever, and I'm not going to be affected by it. Because I take pride in but my is bleeding. Like, but on is he? Seat. But here's the. I want to okay. know the tone. Is it like? Okay, let's act it out. Oh hey, yeah, I, I remember. Remember when you bled on my seat, you fucking no, bitch? No, okay, that's really it's not like that. that okay. was, no, let's try it again. All right. Hey you. Hey. Remember when you had a little Bleed blood on the seat? seat? Yep. Never forget it. Is it more like that? Yeah. yeah. Even so, it's kind of <laughs> worse the second way. <laughs> yeah. Just t ask me how are you? Yeah. Because that's, that's like, what are you trying to do? You trying to embarrass well, me a little man, bit? This man feel like, the, this is also the kind of guy that like when I'm walking and I just look at him, he goes, I never know what's going on up there. You're just cr so crazy. What is going on up there? <laughs> um, tell me what's going on up there. A whole lot of nothing right now. Really? I feel really clear. I'm on one cop, a copy a day. <laughs> oh dear, it seems to be making a difference to your <laughs> English skills. <laughs> One cup of cup up here. Oh, and how many? What you pay? I pay. I pay. Well, king. Okay. Mm. And pony pony pom pom. I feel like you're barely. <laughs> you're really funny. Thank you. I usually don't talk to as funny people as myself. <laughs> You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that out loud. You're <laughs> killing it with talking. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, you don't want to bleed on that one because that's really nice. Here's that's a thing. nice chair. I've got a period cup on. And you have a compacon? <laughs> You know, I just, okay, end, I just ended mine. Actually, it's still happening. Really? Yeah. So wait. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? One cup of copy of pay. And <laughs> off Instagram. And... <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a, okay. Cut. <laughs> No, we're keeping this all in. Oh, I don't edit. Good. Like nothing no, gets does. edited. Chris edits it. No, Chris literally does. it all stays in. Great. I hope you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> it's going really well. It's riveting. It's deep. Yeah, this is Wait, really it's helping me. a lot of people. What's going on? One cup of coffee. <laughs> 
one puff of coffee, two, <laughs> one puff of coffee, what else? Well, I was You're trying off. To... <laughs> I'm off Instagram. I mean, I'm still on it. You can check me out there. But I deleted it off my phone. <laughs> Can we promote you on it? Check me out. <laughs> Make sure to follow Manon on Instagram. She just deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still post on it. This is a really good, but you did that. You literally went, I deleted Instagram. Make sure to follow me on there. <laughs> <laughs> and TikTok. So you deleted Instagram. How long have you deleted it? It's been a week. <laughs> That's a long time. Oh, it's, uh, eight days. That's a long time. For social media? For someone who's been doing it for 10 years. Because, I've, I've yeah. realized I've been addicted to it for 10 years. Yeah. And like we can justify it because like yeah, technically it's our, work. it's our job. That's what everybody it's says. It's our job. It's what we do for Instagram's work. Instagram's our job. <laughs> Instagram's our job. <laughs> it's how we have this house. It's literally how I make my living. It's how I've met everybody that I Instagram love in my life. Instagram is my literal that job, and like people don't understand, understand like how hard written. it is. Like people don't you understand, understand how like how much you work goes into. You have to record yourself, and then you have to look at yourself after having no makeup on. <laughs> like literally, like all really oh, the judgment I get from posting, like comment, people don't and like, they don't like understand, all they like say haters. <laughs> like they like they don't understand like how much work we put in. I cry every night because like the views are not what they use to me and it means that I'm not enough. Like literally like my whole life is defined by social media and like you don't even understand like how hard no, I work. you don't understand like, that. I'm saying that you like you personally, you Laura like, Clary like do not understand like, me. nobody understands like how hard it no, is to like, be like an influencer. You have to con like constantly like so, compare uh, and like compare despair and despair on lines. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like oh, that's our job. <laughs> that's our fucking job. That is our fucking job. But it, <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying right now? <laughs> this isn't a joke. But, this is not funny. This is not, a, this is not a joke. This is our job, okay? It's our job. <laughs> but here's the thing, it's not our job, but it's not. Manon said something great before the podcast. She was really given a lot of wisdom before, before the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah, before the recording. Before we press record, she a was on fire. Then I said one pup of poppy. <laughs> And it's all been downhill since then. Now, you said something really brilliant. what I say? And what you said was, we're creator. I'm a creator, not a consumer? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm a creator, not a consumer. Love that shit. But I've been a consumer because I'm scrolling. You, so and I'm, you buy I'm, groceries. Someone, and I buy groceries. And I decorate my house with chairs and rugs. And you bought a shredder. You brought that shredder. I bought the consumer. sweater. So technically, yeah, I'm a consumer. consumer. But we get what you meant. I mean, clearly You're there well, to create, not I'm, to fucking. I have to intuit. So I've realized I have. Are you okay? Do you need yeah, me? it's uh, my eyes get watery. Yeah, when I laugh too. a lot. Yeah. Did you, you just take me off? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so messed up. No, I didn't. Why would you even say that? I, Why would you say that? I would Why never would say, say that. Like I you understand that? No, to you, you didn't. <laughs> go on Instagram yeah. the last 10 years, I'll post, it's fun. But I would say 80% of the time, I would unconsciously pick it up, scroll, and then unconsciously something's going on in the back of my mind saying I'm not good enough because I'm also not in Hawaii with my family. I'm also not having t 2 million followers. Mm. I'm also not have like, there's this not enoughism firing off. Yeah. And now that I don't have that voice in my head, because it really only happened when I was scrolling. No, It's yeah. like, oh, I have a more loving environment now. And so it's like, I just had to delete it off my phone. I still have the account. That's really, really smart, and I think it's really, really good for your mental health to delete Instagram. That being said, make sure to follow Man and Matthews <laughs> and Laura Clary on Instagram. Make sure to follow us, check us out, check out our content. That being YouTube said, shorts. it's incredibly bad for your mental health. <laughs>
No, it is. It's like so conflicting. And like, that's the thing, like social media is like that. It's so addicting and fun. And there's a lot of like great things too, but then you can go down that rabbit hole. Like the other day I was feeling very confident and like in my feminine energy and like just mm. feeling good in yeah. who I was yeah. and just feeling, I wasn't comparing myself to anyone. I just felt good. And then I opened Instagram and I started looking at these random girls and I was like, oh, they're prettier than me. I should kill myself. Oh, that yeah. took a turn. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Real it's quick. Crazy. A real How, quick turn. Yeah. You can just. Yeah. All, you're feeling great, and then you see some someone else, yeah. and that compare and despair is so dangerous. Yeah. We're not meant to know what's going on in 1,800 people's lives every single day. It's uh, too much um, input. Uh, input. Wow. Yes. Like, input. Not yeah. Enough. We. I just want to be ex pudding. Outputting. Wow. Outpouring. Yeah. That being said, I think there's a lot of like great artists on there. There's a lot of fun creative videos on there. Like there's stuff I really enjoy yeah. about it. Maybe it's about having the intention when you pick it up. Yes. What is my intention when picking this up? Is it to give and to serve and to connect with people and that I'm connect. looking to connect further yeah. with? Or is it just to get my fix of dopamine real quick? Cause I'm not feeling settled in my body at, in this moment. And wow. Can I make it through that? Because there were people that I met at a party, I think on Friday, and I really, really liked them, and I was so excited. And then I was like, ugh, and I had to like write down their name. <laughs> it was weird. I didn't like go on their Instagram to continue to connect. Wow. Which was tough. That was tough. Like you and I wouldn't have met if there was no social media. So I'm grateful for it. I love it. I will continue to use it, but I will not let it use me. Is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Let's talk about how we met really quickly. I want to talk about that story. How do we met? Of how we met. You start it. Well, it was because you don't remember. No, I remember. Man, it's like you started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fun. No, I remember our first coffee date. But you saw I me first. I saw you first. <laughs> so I was, I like, I saw, I knew Man who Manon was from, I think it was like Instagram, probably no, Vine, it was Vine. Well, I don't know Instagram, it, was. it was social media. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God, she's so funny. She's so beautiful. Aww. I just one day want to be friends with her and like maybe one day we can even film something like I just knew I would love you but I didn't want to be creepy and be like I want to go meet the girl from the internet where is she and so I like then I saw you in real life and I was like oh it's the girl from the internet I should go meet her say hi but I didn't want to be creepy so because I was going to say it like that is how I was going to say it. You actually did say it like I that. did, didn't I? Yeah. I was like, hello. And I was like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and you were like, <gasps> no, but I saw you and I didn't say anything. And I was just like, I don't want to go up to you and disturb you. You don't know who I am. I wanted to respect you. And I was like, one day she'll find me. It's like fucking notebook shit. That's romantic That's as shit. That's really sweet. We have a really sweet story. Right? I was like, one day she'll find me. One day. Like one day we'll just like, it'll happen. And then like a year later, maybe even longer, you DM me and you were like, Hey, I show you on the internet. Really? Yeah. You were like, do you want to collab? So you discovered me. I manifested it. Yeah, you did. Cause I had been visualizing man and she Damn. was on all my vision boards. My <laughs> vision board was just man in space. Yeah. You know, you're supposed to have like the car you want. Like yeah. it was just Manon's fucking face. That yeah. was it on there. Yeah. And I would look at that every day, every night for a year. And you called me in. And for I called. one year, exactly that year. The yep. day to the year. And then Manon DM me and was like, hey, do you want to collab? You're really funny. I just came across your video. Which I don't do that a lot. And that I, was. I must say, like, that makes you very it's special. It's because I manifested it. Maybe nowadays it's a little different. I'm a little bit more like, okay, I have to, like, take action on this if I find people funny. So. But, like, you must have stood out so much because of your unique abilities. We are <clears throat> connected on so many levels. And we have a lot of similarities that are wild. They're wild. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how much we should go into them. But you know those friends you meet where it's just like you have so many, is it, what's the word, parallels? Synchronous, yeah, Synchron parallels, synchronicities. Synchro, synchro parallels. SARS. SARS, yes. SARS, isn't that a disease? Okay. We both have SARS. That's how we met. What? So, okay. So you're doing well. 
One cup of coffee, eight, <laughs> eight days off. Our first uh, encounter though was like four hours and then every time yeah. we got together, it was always four hours. Always, yeah. Sometimes we'd film, sometimes we wouldn't. Most times we wouldn't. Most times we would just talk. We'd yeah. yeah. And then right at the end, we're like, oh, we should film something. Yeah, and then we're like, oh, it's too dark. It's too dark. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've been talking for six hours, so we can't. Whatever. That's okay. What else is going on with you? Your um, brain is good, you my feel? My brain feels really good right good. now. I've taken, I've been learning a lot about like, I don't know why it's taken me this long. Cause I thought I got into health years ago, but lately I'm getting reintroduced to it of like learning about dopamine and dopamine highs and lows. And Do you back feel to you're seeking dopamine? I was for sure. And I had no idea. I definitely like in seek little, that shit. little ways. And now I feel like my baseline has like gone up. I felt like my baseline was low. So I was seeking the dopamine to just get to baseline. Okay. And now that I've taken some of the dopamine hits, my baseline's higher. So now I like feel like my, I'm naturally feeling good. And that's a lot coming from someone who's on her period. How do you do it? Supplement. Supplement. I, I don't know. I write letters. That's it. I Supplements write... and letters. <laughs> that's how you like Listen, I, not I'm... chase dopamine. Well, I still chase. Are you being for real words. right now? Cause I will kind write of. so many letters I if write I have letters. to. Okay, here's what Handwritten. I Handwritten. Can I email? No. Oh, fucking. <laughs> I gotta handwrite letters to who? To God. Oh, God. God. This is just, honestly. <laughs> I think I'll just chase dopamine, honestly, if I'm honestly, honest. I think you. I'll just have another cup of coffee instead of writing a damn No, letter. literally. I'm, I'm so addicted to coffee, social media. Yeah. So I was having three cups a day. Well, this also, is like my here's, fourth. here's what happened to me. I, are you okay? Yeah. I had, I got diagnosed with like, like thyroid stuff. And that really freaked me out. Okay. Like it was really scary. Like I cried a lot. Okay. I, this has like happened over the years and I'm just like, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem because I haven't lost my hair and gained weight. So like the vanity, uh, like put me in denial that I have this issue and some of the side effects of having whatever hypothyroid or Hashimoto's or whatever this is, is depression. Wow. Um, cold sensitivity. So if you know me, I'm always like, <laughs> even okay. when it's not that cold and everyone's just like, oh, you're, I'm like, this is just the way I am. And not real. Now I don't feel cold. It's really strange. Cause supplements, took, supplements, diet. Like I took finally like have let gluten, dairy and soy out of my life. Okay. For good. Like that's just not a part of my life anymore. Amazing. And I feel like a new woman. Incredible. I believe that. I believe in that. Hardcore. Yeah. I, I don't know why I haven't just done this. Like I tried it in 2015 cause, and then I just like moved to New York and had, P you know, I cause just, you're like, like, Oh look, it's a muffin. Like it's just a muffin. It's just a muffin. No, it's drugs. <laughs> like for you, for you and consuming that gluten and dairy does something to your brain, to your thyroid. And the sugar. I mean, come on. Yeah. That I will literally cry after the muffin because of the sugar spike. Yeah. Like, I'm so sensitive. It's not even funny. No, I believe it. But when people you get used to having that, no, that I'm like plant-based people think I'm wild, but it yeah. like, it really does help with my mood, my energy, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. It food is, our, we literally are what we eat. And Whoa. I've been in denial that for that for a long time. We I've like we gone eat. in and out of like, yeah, I know it affects me, but it doesn't affect me. If I move around a lot, maybe it just burns. And it's like not having it. I'm like, oh my God, is this how you, is this how everybody feels? Is this, is this how, like, it's just wow. life changing. Supplements, letters to God. Oh yeah. To remove my fears. Okay. Yeah, now so let's it. talk about God. <laughs> Everybody's favorite subject. And Everybody's word. favorite no, subject. Nobody has an issue with the word God ever. No. It makes no one uncomfortable. It makes no one uncomfortable. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. And God, what is, is, God, what is what God, God to you? Love. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And God is like love. nature. Wow. Right? Like, wow. I didn't grow up religious. Same. So I didn't have a concept of like God. So when people would say, I was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. And then someone special was like, go stand in front of the ocean, tell it to move. And I was like, okay. And I laughed a little bit and like your heart's been beating for this, for however long you've been alive. Do you sit there consciously or go beat or is it bigger than you and does it regardless whether mm -hmm. you like it or not? There is a power greater than us at play that is like, we only see this much 
God, love, nature, whatever, universe sees way more and there's things being orchestrated wow. up there, around there. And I don't need to know what's gonna happen, but I do feel better when I trust that things are gonna work out, right? Wow, I love that. I love that, even just the way you talk about the heart beating and that we have nothing to do with that. There's a power greater than ourselves at play here. Yeah, because I grew up as an only child. I grew up thinking that the world revolved around me and everything I did was either the best thing in the world or I'm a, the biggest piece of shit. And I, like, if you're upset, it's clearly my fault because yeah. I either didn't make you laugh or I didn't make you feel good or I'm having emotions. And well, that's that obviously is true. too much for Yeah, that is fact. That bit is true. The world still revolves around me. Yeah. And if you don't make me laugh, like... Then leave. Fuck off and get out of my house. If you don't have a punchline to your story, then why are you telling me the then, story? Like, why are you it's not just funny? Go home is what I yeah. want to say to you. Yeah. You want to say it, but will you? I just did. Oh. I'm just stretching my knees. Get out. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, love. God is love. Okay. That's. Man and definition, we all have different definitions and that's wonderful. Yeah, what's that's yours? a beautiful thing. You know what? I gotta say same. Of course. The power of life itself. Of course it is. Of course we have the same definition. Yeah. Of course we do. Because we, we are, are the, the same, same person. person. We, we are the, the same. same. It's, it's so weird, weird but, but it's true. true. We've, We've always, always been, been so connected, even our vaginas. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Isn't that so wild? Nuts. It's always been that way. But I would say love, the power of life itself, yeah. is kind of like Mother Nature, you know? It's like the power of life itself. Like, that is God to me. That, yeah. You know? And like, I pray because it feels good. I don't mm -hmm. really have to intellectualize it. It's just like when I feel really like irritable or depressed or whatever, like I say, God, remove my fear, replace it with faith and love and help me to serve in whatever way you see fit. I don't know, it feels good to yeah. do that. That's what I always think. I'm like, it feels good, so just do it. Yeah. Like I don't need to figure out if it works or why or, it does or, why. Or, or if it's like, I, I don't need to know all that stuff. I just, just tell me what to do and I'll just do it. Yeah. It's fine. And yeah. I, oh, this like feels better than whatever I was doing before. Like when I'm in fear and like worried about things yeah. and, da, 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 and trying to control everything. Cause that's what a lot of it comes down to for me is like fear that I need to control something because if I don't control it, then it won't work out the way that I think it's supposed to work mm. out when it's like, or just chill and just chill and man so and will come to you a year later. You know? Yes. Yeah, and Manon will come to you a year later. Like exactly when Manon's supposed to come to me. Manon came to me. But like, uh, that's creepy. I just got, that was a little creepy. Now, I think that's so important. Like you were saying, trying to run the show. Like you want things to happen when you want them to happen rather than there's something really powerful about truly surrendering. Surrendering and like living in God's or the universe as well. Like we, we are so powerless over so many aspects of our lives. People, places, things, situations, so many things we have zero power over. And to spend like any time stressing and depressing over these things that we're powerless over is truly a f effing waste. It's a waste of energy, right? Like I, I remember I was years ago, I was on a, on a phone call with somebody that was helping me through something and he told me to like visualize the universe or whatever is like being in the ocean, I, a baby human, swimming to where I think I need to go, uh -huh. but I'm going against the current because I'm trying to look at my eyes on the prize, but I'm tiring mm. my arms out so much, like just trying to get to that place that I think if I were yeah. to just chill, relax my body, the ocean's gonna float me to a place far better than I can even fathom. And may I just enjoy the ride. Oh, wow. And not tire my, like, I don't know. I love that. And so I always like to visualize that because I'm just like, where, anytime I'm like tired or like stressed, it's when I'm like not in trust and faith. And it yeah. is one, like, right, one day at a time. Like, that's another thing that stresses me out is yeah. if I start thinking too much about the future. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, like, I got to figure out the future. I got to figure it out, and I got to That's make never sure. not terrifying. No, that will always <laughs> cause anxiety in yeah. every human being. Yes. Like, that's, that is the prescription for anxiety. Yes. Yeah. Here, you want anxiety? Think about the future. Yeah, fear of the future is anxiety, right? Because we don't know what's going to happen. The no. unknown will always scare humans. 
Yeah. We, we yeah. are afraid of the unknown. Yeah. And I sometimes I'll go to see psychics because I'm a, I need to know what's going to happen in the future as if the future's not going to take care of me over there when I'm there. Wow. Right? And that's a daily practice, reminding yourself of Seeing that every psychics. day. Seeing psychics. I go to psychics daily, every day. Daily, every single day. I'm with a psychic daily. So write this down, guys. 1-800. So <laughs> Supplements, letters to God, daily psychics. <laughs> We're not talking once a week. We're saying every Daily. single day. Spend your money on psychics. On psychics every single day. And you need to go every single day. In the morning, preferably. First thing in the morning, go to a psychic. If you can double dip right before bed. Go, okay. 1-800. This is sound advice. <laughs> I've never been to a psychic. What? Yeah. I want to. I take off my... Are you going to take your clothes off I now? just felt like that was interesting really? information. So get that's naked. That's where we're different. Get naked, make it more interesting. I think that's better. Look, I'm not coming on to you, but take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to see those titties. Um, um, I would. Honestly, I freaking you would. would. You, I freaking would. I know you would. I freaking would. I know you would. <laughs> I would. Dude, you're such a free spirit. Like, I know you I just freaking would, like, would. Free those nips. Free like, the titties. You got no shame. They're not even sexual organs. Orchids? Or organs. <laughs> Mine are like orchids. Really? They twine up. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes. My titties have been through it, honestly. <laughs> of course, you have two children. Girl. And, do and you used to have dogs. Which also got very involved in my breasts. Of course. Yes. yes. That's how it works. If you don't breastfeed your, your dogs, dogs what are you that's doing? animal abuse. That's if abuse. you don't breastfeed them. I, feed, I breastfeed Russell, okay. who's my dog. That's twice a week. week. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we got supplements, letters to God, psychics, every single day, every single night, and breastfeed your dog. <laughs> Is that crazy? No, it works for you. It oh, and works. no gluten. You have to do it, though. You, you can't eat gluten and then breastfeed your dog. Oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No. Hell no. No. One minute, Chris, and then we got to reset. Hey, Manon, have you ever drank Athletic Greens? Uh, yeah. Can I tell you about it? Our next partner is Athletic Greens, AG1. Have you ever drank in it? No? I haven't. Let me tell you about it. Athletic Greens is hard for me to keep up with a supplement routine that comes with a bunch of different products. So Athletic Greens, I've noticed that it helps me. Wow, that's great. It's the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. AG1 is powerful because it fits into your lifestyle. AG1 has been part of millions of mornings since 2010. AG1, you should drink it. But seriously, here's the thing. You really have, you ordered it, right? They I, sent you I, some? They, yeah. Have you tried it yet? No, but I can't wait. Let me tell you. It's got like 75 vitamins and minerals. 75? Yes. Totally vegan, gluten-free, and you just do a scoop, you put it in the thing, in a bottle, shake it. <laughs> okay, you shake it, just like that. I squeeze a little lemon in there, and it's so good. You drink it every day, and it's like nutritional insurance. It has probiotics too, huh? It has everything you yeah, need. I the only that. thing it doesn't have is vitamin D, but they send you a separate vitamin D thing, and you just put a drop in there every tincture. single day. Tincture. Yeah, tincture. So I, I'm literally addicted to this. I have it every single morning, and I'm telling you, you're gonna be addicted to it too. Like it's so good. Like in a good, yeah. like because I think you can have good addictions. Yeah. You know? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, good addiction. we're all addicted. So, so what are we addicted to? Athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. You can get one year free supply of the vitamin D, immune supporting vitamin D. And you can also get five free travel packs. If you go to athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast and sign up, they send it every month. So good. Manon does it. I do it. Look at us. Look at, look at us. I mean, she hasn't actually had it yet but when i do she, check in she, in a month because she hasn't had any and that's why she's having trouble with her speech i know that's why Is you that said why? one cup of coffee it's oh. because you haven't had <laughs> athletic greens so anyway there's that how did you do your hair like that i asked someone to do it for me oh his name is caesar caesar the dog trainer uh no 
but imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine? He also <laughs> does hair. Could you imagine? It's a crimper. But I, you are good at doing your hair. Like, did you do your hair? I did my makeup. I cannot do my hair. I can't do my makeup. I, and I cannot do my hair. I can't do my makeup. And I can't do my life hair. Of me. You can't do. You can't Not do your the makeup. Of me. Have you ever done fake lashes? No. Oh, I love them. But my eyes are. I'm struggling to. Open I don't them. do well with fake lashes. They yeah, no, I, I'm struggling. Like a, I don't. I'm more of a less is more type That's of lady. That's good. Like it doesn't. When I wear too much, I look. Not great, in my opinion. So, like, when you get your makeup done, are you like, yeah, what the hell? I feel that way sometimes too. It's like too cakey. But with the yeah, I can't. I, can't I don't do a lot cake. of concealer. No, you look fantastic. I don't do too Whatever much. Whatever you're doing is perfect. Is it? Yes. Really? Yes. I always like think I, I'm doing good, and then I'm it like, it looks great. You're just looks, saying that? No, I swear it looks great. You're just saying that? You. You're just saying that? What's wrong with us? I don't know. Do you think that like, here's, you want to, can I tell you one of my biggest insecurities? Yeah. Um, and then I'll tell and you I, mine. Because I feel like you're really going to identify with me as a fellow funny girl. Is that I struggle with being, because I really want to be like in my feminine energy and I want to feel sexy and beautiful. But who I am at my core is this. Yeah. Don't take who I am. Yeah. It's funny. I know. It's not my, my instinct is not to be like, <laughs> What are we gonna have for lunch tonight? That's not my instinct. My I, instinct I is like, what's going on? That's yeah. what I want to do, like yeah. on a date. Yeah. Not that I'm dating. I'm so just what's saying. the insecure part? What? <laughs> so the insecure. Where's the insecurity? Is that, that I don't? I feel like there's a disconnect between like funny and like attractiveness. Like I. Okay, here's what it is. My dad growing up, every time, because I've always been a clown, like I feel like I was born this way. It's just like who I am. Like I feel like there's naturally people with funny bones who just like, you know, there's one in, there's some in every village, every town to make everyone else laugh. Like we're just, we're meant to have funny people, right? Mm -hmm. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. Just like we're meant to have like musicians and artists and like cooks and like all of that to make the world go round. So like I, was born, I think, a funny girl. To, and that's my why I'm here, is to make you laugh. Like, yeah. I feel that in my bones. Yeah. But I had my dad growing up being like, stop doing that face. It's not, oh. it's not, you know, like, you should be beautiful. Like, oh. when I told him I wanted to do comedy, he was like, no, do drama. Like, you're beautiful, don't do that. He hate, he wouldn't watch my comedy. And I think from a young age, I just always felt like, no one's gonna love me because I'm goofy and funny and that's not attractive. So I think that's still, I still have that insecurity. And I think with Steven, he literally, Steven's childhood crush was Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> so the man- yeah, I love her. The it's man likes, it's just funny. Yeah. So the man likes funny. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, like a man who finds humor attractive. Wow. Um, but I, I think most men find humor but attractive. But see that, and that's why I, I help that's me. That's a general statement. Okay, so, so tell me. So help me, God. Tell me. Tell you what? Like, how do I get over I this think insecurity? You, I think first of all, your humor is, I don't want to say it's the only thing that makes you attractive because you have all these other qualities that make you uh, visually beautiful, whether you open your mouth or not. Mm. The fact that you are this funny makes you like a magic human. Like you are so beautiful because you're funny as well as like you have all of it. I just wanted you to compliment yeah, me. I don't actually have an insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a compliment. Like the fact that like anyway. it is so attractive, your ability to be free and goofy and vocal about your thoughts and feelings and going in and out of characters and making people laugh is so fucking beautiful. So have you, thank you for that. I'm uncomfortable with a lot of compliments. Uncomfortable. Really? Yes, very much. Do you what? not get uncomfortable? Like if I were to like really compliment you right now and tell you like how stunning you are and funny and unique and smart and like so incredibly, um, What's the word I'm looking for? You're perceptive and compassionate. Mm. Does that make you feel good? Um, yeah, it makes me feel good. Yeah, you're right. It's a little uncomfortable. But it's like a little uncomfortable. Go, like, but so have you ever struggled with that insecurity of like, or, or you know what it is? 
maybe it's not just like that. Like, have he, I ever, yes, something, yes. I don't lead with someone told me I was ugly in middle school. I kept that story up until right now. Like, right. I don't think I don't go <laughs> so pretty. No, but so like cute, being a so funny, feminine, being a funny girl. Yeah. Cause like you said, you're like, as like a funny creator, you're kind of in your masculine energy. Like yeah. you're like, you know. Telling jokes is masculine because okay. you are tussling the audience. The there, audience there laughing is. is in their feminine because they're like, hee 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 hee. And when you're on the stage and you're commanding and holding the space and able to tussle with it, it's very masculine. That, yeah. that's what I was trying to. Like when I would do stand up, yes. the people that would come meet me afterward were all women that were like, <gasps> and I just felt like this, like, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I did not feel like, oh my God. That. Like, thank you so much for laughing at my show. Like you just, it's just a different part of you that comes up that, that wow. takes, because masculine leads, right? Masculine and, and energy. And feminine allows. Allows and flows and like relaxes like being in the ocean, right? So the part of us that wants to like control and be like, I know where we're going and this is what, it's the part of you that like wants to lead and, and like provide and have the container and because you know what's best and you're take, trying to take care of the village or wow. whatever that So is. how do we find balance? That's what I want is balance. Cause it's good to have the masculine energy. Like in our professions, you kind of need that to be successful in a way. Yes. But then like other, like you're in your relationship, would you, do you feel like you're in your masculine or your feminine? Feminine. Really? I deeply desire to be in my feminine energy when I'm in my relationship. And are you? most of the time. Like, are you planning the things? Like, how is your dynamic do, in your I relationship? Do, thank you for asking that. And by the way, we all have masculine, feminine. It's not a gender thing. I just need to say that. Like, we all have masculine, feminine energy. And sometimes one will show up and the, sometimes the other will show up. That's why you need polarity in relationship to have opposition and to have passion. That's why, you. Wow. I mean, I'm sure you and I could have sex, but that's why we haven't yet is because we both are, there's no polarity. But we could get it we there. Could we, we, we could do that. We could. We could. But there's no. But. But we I mean, could. But listen. But Here's there the hasn't thing. been. There hasn't been that, which is why there hasn't been this. If we want I'm to do this, then this. we're gonna do this. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> really? But that's why. That's why it's like if there are two people are in their masculine, which is what happens when two people have kids is both because the kids are feminine. All kids are like mainly in their feminine. They're like, blah, 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 and they're not thinking about time and space. Like masculine is the master of time and space. It's orderly direction. We have to be here at this time so that we can actually yeah. relax and enjoy the thing and be in our feminine. And so yeah. when ki people have kids, mm. the parents will go, go into masculine to take care of the kids. And then all of a sudden there's no polarity and there's no, why aren't we having sex anymore? This is blowing my, my pussy off. Yeah, mine too. Holy sh <laughs> Wait. Ooh. What? 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 That's a great character. So in my- Wait, that just blew my dick off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not going to die. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if I'm we not... told you a man and is immortal. I'm not dying. We didn't. I'm not going we to. We wanted either. to save this. This was, this was to be your at the announcement, end. right? Yeah, I had. I came on here. <laughs> I, I. First of all, I tried to call and make an appointment for this podcast. Right. To let every the world know that she is in fact immortal. immortal. And will never die. <laughs> and all that you have to do to join her is Eight, supplements. One eight hundred. Oh, psychics <laughs> every day. Breastfeed a dog. These are the le we. We wanted to lead you in like, oh, this is how you feel good. No, this is how you stay alive. This is not fake forever. news. I want to put that out there. Oh no no no, this is real news. So wow. So, so I'm not gonna die. Ever. Be ever. <laughs> I didn't want, I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be someone that doesn't like have sex with my partner. Wow. Do you understand? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a wild thought. I wouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> you mean you want to. 
With your partner? partner? Hmm. I mean... So I got really interested in this dystopic years ago because I was so in my masculine. And I was You were both in your masculine. You were both. Okay. Who's we? Anyone I was with. Yeah. Like at, at first I would feel and like... And you weren't oh, even a parent. No. Because I'm saying. Yeah. I was like, I've got to figure this out. So I went to John Wineland. Okay. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is John Wineland? I... He learned from David Data. Okay. David Data? <laughs> think that's his name and that he wrote a book called the way of the superior oh, man oh god oh god <laughs> all right so david and they Weinland, talk about where david was Weinland? a workshop yeah there was a workshop i went to the feminine workshop oh, and then god. the guy that i married went to a masculine workshop up in mount shasta and we know how well that, that worked went out. out not worked out well funny how it works out available at stores near you now, well, I not wanna, really. It's only on Amazon. I want to talk. Actually, read Bannon's book. Laura gave me a quote on the back. If you want to read that, you could get the book just to read the quote. You can order it on Amazon. Highly, highly, highly recommend. One of the stories in there is especially fucking crazy. And Laura was really there for me. Thank you. Yeah. You can you like the, can you tell that story in two minutes or less? Yes. Go. 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 Uh, Come on. Met the guy in my dreams, fantasy world, like knew I was gonna marry him the minute I met him. That's what I heard in my voice. We FaceTimed. I went to send him a message online, saw that he already wrote me 18 months before. Wow. We met in New York City in person, fireworks. We both cried. We held each other, said, I love you. Four and a half months later, we got engaged in Australia. I met his family. He moved over to New York because he was like, he's a Scottish boy, man, person? I don't know. And then we had our wedding. We spent every day together. He treated me like a queen, amazing, beautiful. I bought us a house on Weddington five days before the wedding. You were at the wedding. It was a beautiful there. wedding. It was really sweet, it went fun. really well. I was calm, felt really great about it. Um, there was a truck backing up when he was saying his vows, which was just interesting. Is it odd or is it God? Do you remember that? Oh my gosh, I don't remember the truck. Yeah, everyone told me about it later. I don't remember it. They ended I was up giving sleeping. us free. You were sli asleep during yes. the wedding. I did take a nap because I had a new baby at the time. Oh. And so I was. So you went there to nap. That's correct. No, I, I actually watched it and it was amazing. I mean, at the time I thought it was amazing. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I didn't notice the truck though, but I also don't notice things. Like yeah, asking what the color I didn't of notice either. the wall is, I don't know. Do you know the color? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I'm not very observant. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, you are. You have no, to No, but I hyper-focused. I was hyper-focused on you guys, so I didn't notice the truck. Yeah, I'm, like, I was the same. I was listening what I'm to his vows, and other people were like, there's a truck, hello. Didn't see the truck ramming into the people, because it ran like six people over, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It murdered. Didn't even notice. It was a truck murder. Yeah. It ended up seven people died that night. And I didn't. I, this, Thank I'm God just it wasn't hearing about the this wedding. now. Yeah. I don't want to be responsible for anybody. I was too focused on that dress. Yeah, <laughs> right, girl? Yeah. You were slaying more than that Slay. truck driver was slaying the <laughs> no. people, the yes. dead bodies. So now. Into the ground. They buried them right behind this is where more we got the wedding. <laughs> Cut to. Cut to. So, wedding, Malibu, beautiful, romantic, everything. Then. A month, a month you later. You called me. Well, you called later. me a couple weeks later, devastated. Yeah, because the day I got my wedding photos was the day that my best friend in the world, Travis, who um, actually gave a speech at the wedding, yes. brought the house down. It was really sweet with his emotions. Um, yeah, him and his girlfriend mentioned that the guy that I married um, was basically, long story short, unfaithful, sending nudes, videos, texts, saying really unkind things about me to like a stranger that he didn't know and then that behavior kept going and I was like blindsided, confused, who did I marry? Yeah. It was very eerie and weird and it threw me off, flipped my whole world upside down. You were there. Yep. You were really helpful in your advice. And then yeah. And then I went through that for a few months. And then so that was strike one. Then I had a strike two and then sitting with you on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah, so she yeah. forgave him. 
because you're sweet and lovely and assume the best in people. And, and also, well, and I married him, so I like, took you that serious. Him. And I was like, you know, he's in pain. Yeah. He's in pain. And I didn't really detect it, so let's get him out of pain. Let's heal this man. Yeah. And, and we know change is possible for a lot of people. A lot of people say people never change. Yes, they do. Yes, they you do. You and I have seen a lot of people change. We, because you we and I ourselves. have changed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we have hope. Yeah. So then that's crazy. So she gave him another chance. And this is wild too. Like, I don't know. The story so wild. Should I tell the story? Yeah. If you okay. want, if you're comfortable with I'm it. I'm comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm fine. Are you? Just don't. Are you comfortable? I'm not. Are you I'm, comfortable? This is not. Are you comfortable? Is the couch. This is, is it too yeah, plushy? Yeah, this is really comfortable. Is it too? You're comfortable? No, there's like eight pillows. Pillows, yeah. It's comfy. It's comfy. You comfortable? It, this is a, I'm really comfortable. Great. Cool. So let's talk about the trauma in your life since you're comfortable. Um, <laughs> At this point, we had already gone three months of therapy, uh -huh. which was really helpful. Yeah. And you felt like things were looking up. He was changing. Yeah. You went to the feminine workshop. He went to the masculine. But this was all before. Oh, shit. Crazy, right? So cut to, which she forgives him. I'm with her along the way. I was there even when they first met. I'll never forget, we sat down in Sherman Oaks at a cafe, and she's like, Laura, I met this guy. He said he saw me in a dream. I saw him too. Da -da -da -ba, da -da -da -da. It's a romantic love story. Oh my gosh. All of it. And so you forgive. Things are moving along. I have a six month old son at the time. Maybe he was around that. And he was struggling to sleep. So my friend recommended some nanny that I had, or no, she wasn't, yeah, she was a nanny, but she helps with like sleep regulation. So she was gonna come over for a day. This girl that I had never met, it was like a friend of a friend, was like, oh, I have this girl that's really good at helping babies sleep longer. So she can come over and give you all these tips and tricks. And basically she came over for one day and she helped me create a schedule and a routine for Alfie, for my son. Like, okay, at this time he wakes up, at this time he eats, at this time you take him for a walk, at this time you play, at this time you nap. This, and it's like, I didn't have the structure. I was just kind of like, I think he's tired. I think he's, you know? And so she gave me this like really great structure to help him sleep longer periods. So she comes over and we're sitting there and, and he had just gone down for a nap. So she's sitting, you know, cause she's agreed to stay for the day to show me. So we're sitting there, and I was like, so what, what does your day look like? You know, or somehow got on, on to like what she does day to day. Like, was she a full-time nanny? And she was like, well, right now I work at this gym. And then she told me the name of the gym. And I was like, that rings a bell because that was the gym that Manon's husband worked at. And I was like, oh. And it was just like this moment where I was like, huh. That's, I know that gym, that sounds similar. So I asked her, I said, hey, by chance, do you know? And then I said, uh, the person's name, the person's name, Manon's then husband's name. And she looked at me, I was like, do you know this man? And she goes, yes, why? Like that. And it was like such a weird response. Like I was like, Oh, I was like, okay, she's, he's my, one of my best friend's husbands. And she goes, he's married? Ew. Like that. And I was like, yeah. And then she goes, between you and me. And she starts telling me like secrets that he's told her. That he's claimed that. Like, I've never told anyone this. Yeah. To make her feel special and see. Yes, very she manipulative. tells everybody yep. those things. Yeah, so like, between you and me, he's had a very dangerous past and nobody knows but me. And starts saying that he's friends with some famous people, which I know are actually Manon's friends, not his friends. Like, just, it was just so, like, fucking gross. And I was like, all right. This, this is crazy that this random girl comes into my house for one day and happens to work at the gym of Manon's husband who, who she had just forgiven. And so I call her and I was like, can we meet? And she's like, yes. And so we meet on Christmas Eve. And we talk for about two hours before you're like, you start tearing up and you're like, I have to tell you something. Yeah. And, 
at this point I was saying to you, I was like, I'm hanging on by a thread. I'm at like yeah. 2%. Like I've recently just asked God for like a sign for me to like tell me to stay or to go because I knew if I were to stay, that that would be a lot of rebuilding, yeah. that I wouldn't feel comfortable, that I'd constantly wondering who he's texting because yeah. already he's dip, given two strikes, yeah. not to mention my body just didn't feel safe around him yeah. um, because he had the capability of lying for like very good liar for a very long time. And yeah. so I'm like, okay, if I'm going to build with this person, like this is just like going to take up a lot of time. Do I want to move forward with somebody that we just got married yeah. that I don't trust that like, I'm young. Like, I don't know if this is worth my own sanity. And then you come in and tell me the story. And for some reason it was like strike number three. That was all I needed to hear to be like, okay, I got it. I'm done. Like, I'm so grateful for that. It's Cause that's so when it was done for me. And I remember FaceTiming him after and I wow. didn't, I didn't know the girl's name and I didn't, all I knew was I think I knew the location and I said, Oh, I know that you are, um, you know, I know that you are acting not married basically. And he goes, I know who you're talking about. She works at this location. I was like, that's not the location. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different girl. You know what I mean? Whoa. And it was just like, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And then my book came out and then all these women came forward and one girl, you know, reached out and was like, I dated him for a year. So Manon tells the whole story in her book in well, detail. Well, not the whole story. Okay. So we need a second Because there's book. an aftermath. But yeah, That's I do tell you like, there's a chapter on it where... But so you, you release the book and then all of these women started coming forward. Like mm -hmm. Tinder swindler shit. Yeah. And one, what did they woman, say to you? One woman said, reading your book was like reading my exact experience with him. I dated him wow. for a year and this, 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 this. And by the way, your wedding song that you danced to, I know you don't name it in your book, but I know what it is because it was to be our wedding song and it was the same song. This was a song he Tell showed me. Tell me the song. This was a, the... What was the song? Was well, you probably heard it at the... It's called um, Northern Wind, City in Color. That song. So if anyone's watching that dated this guy that and you know sucks. who it is in that song, it's a beautiful song. <laughs> but I cry every time I hear it because he showed it to me on day two and said, I've never showed this song to anybody. I just want you to listen to it. And um, that was a lie. Like he lied since day one. This man just was a, and he has admitted to being a master manipulator. And I, he I had a lot that? to learn. Yeah. At the end. Yeah. I had a lot to learn. My body, there were times when my body was like leaning back, right? The body doesn't lie, people lie. So when your body's leaning back and going like this, you don't, that's like danger, danger. Like, like when you're going like this. When you're like saying like this. When you're literally like this, <laughs> when you see that's someone. That's no. Th this is a sign but if you're like that this. they're not safe. When someone walks into a room and your instinct and you're like is this, this? <laughs> that means that they're safe. Yeah. But when you're like this, this? Uh, and you want to lean in, okay. it's like your, tr your body's good. showing you that you trust. Oh, I see. I and see, when I you're see. going like this, when you're that going means like... that you just need to stretch. Okay. Got it. So... But your body, wow, the body doesn't let people do. So many quotes, so many quotes. Got that from the therapist I went to. Now, so, but, but, and, and so I, I'm sure there was a huge lesson in, or probably many lessons in that experience for you. Yeah, you know, I believed his words over my own intuition. I was not taught to trust my intuition as a kid. Like, wow. I was very taught that, like, if you have a feeling, just eat it or drink it away or smoke just it, just snort it. Snip it, flip it, it, clip it, flip it, clip. Yeah. So I just numbed, numb, 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 numb. And now I'm now learning about learning about, oh my God, my body is telling me stuff. Or can I trust my intuition? Should I go left or right? What does this still small voice tell me? Left, okay, I'm going to trust that. Rather than uh, just, I don't know what I was Nap doing. Nap quest says right, no my body says left. Does it take me six hours longer than it would have? Yeah, yeah, but guess what? I, yeah. I had a great time and burned calories. I burned a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But that's old news. That was like three years ago. I'm like in a complete... I'm, you, you said to me, it's either him or someone better. That's right. 
And I was like, oh, but how can anyone, like, how can anyone compare to like this guy right now? Which by the way is like off the face of the earth. We don't know where he is, right? We don't care where he is, but he's, I don't know where he is. Like he like deleted his like Instagram and everything. And just, he's just fucking out scamming. I saw him like a year and a half ago on the street. That's and so I was creepy. With my current boyfriend, and Ooh. we went and got a coffee, and we were sitting, and he he was walking, and and Johnny, my boyfriend, got in the car and was like, "I don't want to alarm you, but he's right over there." Okay, wait. So you see him a year and a half ago. <laughs> I go to a coffee shop with my current boyfriend. Ooh. He gets our coffee. Ooh. He walks in the car. And he says, I don't want to alarm you, but like that guy's right there. And I was like, what? And I look and I see him walking. I roll down the window and go. <gasps> and then he, the guy, my ex-husband goes, how you going? <gasps> and then just keeps walking. And then I look at Johnny, my current boyfriend, and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. It was just instinct. Two things. It was my instinct of like, oh my God, someone I know. The second thing was, I think I must have not held that much resentment because I like forgot to be angry. Do you know what I mean? Well, no, because I thought you were like, hi, I've got a hot new boyfriend. Fuck off. Oh, like that's no, how I thought. No, that's I what I thought. Like, oh, I'm down to connect if you oh, are. Oh my God. And then I had to remember. I thought it was like revenge. No, like, I forget. Look. No, no, no. I don't have, I have that thing where oh, you're like the so night. you so enlightened. Yeah. Wow. I have the, like the night he fi I found out that he did what he did. I was staging and showering him. And while he was crying, like I put my I own can't. shit aside, which is a problem. Like that is not, I have, I have a little bit of a people pleasing thing yeah, you where think. I'm like, I just think everybody's good. And blah, blah, blah. I actually have that too. Yeah. I, I joke with you, you but I literally have that yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, Promise that makes you, that. you loving and compassionate. You see the good. You want to talk to the part of them that really wants to try and do better. To a better. fault. Cause I get walked all over. Yeah. It's not by great. certain people, over and over. Yeah, I think I'd be You're like, but next now. time it'll be different. I think I didn't have much boundaries, is what it was. It was like, but then you know, I'm grateful that I did like ask him to leave the house, and that he never like, he didn't like stay in the home after all that. Like he left, and that was really like good that that happened. Because sometimes people will like either get abused or have something like that happen, and then the guy will like be in the house still, or the person will be in the house. Oh still, yeah, and they still have to interact, and it's like that's not. It could Healthy have been even either, worse. but that was the last time I saw him. Wow. And you were like, Hey, like, hope you're well. And then Johnny, your new boyfriend is like, what was that? And he's like, what are you doing? That man really, really like did damage. Like you don't have to be kind yeah. to this person. And I was like, I forgot. I don't know though. Like, but I do think like, was there, I don't think it's a bad thing that you were just like, Hey, because in a way like your love and yeah. you're just like sending love to you, like sending yeah. love, like hope you heal. Yeah. Cause if you're like, screw you, or I know what you did, or like I could ruin you or like any of that vengeful, vindictive behavior, it's like the whole, like two wrongs don't make a right. I mean, he's going to walk off and be even angrier and probably want to hurt the next girl. Well, when she did, she reached out to me. The girl he dated after me dated her for him for five weeks, and she messaged me and saying, "Hey, I just finished dating your ex-husband. I'm in therapy now because he really messed me up. Like wow. he's such a narcissist. Like she yeah. had all these labels, right? Like yeah. the love bombing and all yeah. these things that I never knew about before. Oh, the love bombing happened. was extreme. And so he's not. He to in my perception of it, I don't think he's changed his behavior. That wow. being said, I don't really think about it much. Anytime I do think about him, I really do just like send him love. I don't have a ton of bad memories with him. All of our memories are pretty loving, which wow. is why it was such a weird experience to have him stray like that when I gave him, I believe, a, the safest place to be himself. If he had thoughts of other women, I was the person to talk to about it. I am wow. not somebody that is like, you can't feel feelings if you looking at another girl. I don't have... I know that there's jealousy in me, yeah. but I would rather be in on it than away from it and you going on a different boat and riding away. Like, at least stay in my boat and then tell me what you think of the other boat. And then at least maybe we can play with it. Maybe we can talk about it. Maybe we can transmute it yeah. somehow and it doesn't have to turn into an action that is against our partnership. Wow. You know? Whoa. Because humans are humans. So if he was ever going to be able to feel safe in a relationship, it was with you. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that just, yeah. I mean, it's almost like we don't even want to take up too much of the conversation on him. But some people are like, like it says in that one book, constitutionally incapable of, of being, being honest with themselves. Yeah. There are such unfortunates. They are not at fault. They are... seem to have been born that way. And it's like there, there are just those cases where yeah. you're like, and he, this he is... did have a tough, rough t childhood from what he told me. What is truth? I don't know. But from what he did share was troublesome. I don't know how anyone could come back from a lot of a lot of people go through stuff. It's really tough. Yeah, and they have they develop these coping mechanisms like as kids, and they carry them with them forever. And it's like, it is what it is. But we don't have to subject ourselves to yeah. abuse. No, not at all. Like, I felt like I gave it my all. I got to, you know, do the therapy, literally look at every aspect of how I could make this work. And when I walked away, I never looked back. And that mm -hmm. was a huge blessing. Like, if you're in a relationship and you still don't know, then, then find out what needs to happen for you to know so wow. that you never look back and go... I mean, that, that was my experience was like, I'm so grateful that I took the time to like really give it my all yeah. and also have compassion to know that like, this is a, this is a no for me now, because then I was able to eventually open my heart to a new relationship. And you attracted someone that it's night and day different. Someone who has morals, integrity. Do you hear that ladies? It's possible. It's very possible. Yeah. You have to be open to it. And I had to heal a lot of the wreckage that was caused so that I didn't bring it into my new relationship. Right. Because people do that all the time. They're like, hey, I have this baggage if we want to unpack it. And it sucks for the new partner. Because they're wow. like, I'm not that guy. Like, I'm not him. There's been a few times, especially earlier on, where Johnny was like, oh, I'm not him. And you never have to worry about me cheating. I'm not a cheater. I've never cheated. That's not in my DNA. Like, oh that's gosh. just like a no for me. So you can, let that, understand. you can let that go and drop it. And I'm like, <gasps> and just like his ease with it. Like there was no, like, I don't think I'm going to do that. Like he, like that is like, he just, but it's funny. Cause he could have said that and your body could have gone like, yeah, you're just no. say, you're just speaking words, but yes. Yeah. Like when the other guy, my ex-husband would say words, he never said, I'm never going to cheat on you. But early on he was like, you're the most amazing woman I've ever met. I love you so much. Like my heart is just my body leaned back and I literally, he would make fun yeah. of me. He'd be like, do you have like a, are you, cause I, he'd go, do you have I like a you. disorder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'd go, I'm going to go to the bathroom. You're like, and I just leave. like, he's like, are you, a, thing. he's like, yeah. are you good? You're yeah. like, yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you, what? Keep complimenting me. Yeah. And he would joke about it. He's like, I think you have like a thing. And I was yeah. like, I don't know why I'm responding this, but it's funny, I guess. Because I seem like a robot. people lie, bodies don't. All right. I want you to end this podcast with the most profound piece of advice that you have in the entire world. What's the piece of advice that changed your life forever? You've got 30 seconds. Go. If you can't get out of it, get into it. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> avatar what acceptance is the answer to all my problems today damn keep spitting that shit <laughs> damn what damn keep going mm. but acceptance though radical acceptance radical accepting things as they are not thinking not trying to make things to fit your to fit. agenda. Oh, there it is. Accepting things, things for as they, they are in the present moment. The thing, you like don't the have best to thing, like advice that I can give for you and both of us is like accepting the present moment okay. just as it is. Like literally, like you can't change it. It's like, well, why would you try and change yeah. it when like this is what it is? It is what it is. Like so, there's no going back. No, like everything so that's you, already happened has already happened. Everything's like, already happened. Like that's the past. Like if you're living like, in the past or like you're living in the future, like you're like gonna be in like, the day. Then you're not in the day. You're like the day is the present. And the present is a gift. <laughs> The present is a gift, like not like a physical gift, like a pair of shoes, but like a gift. I love shoes. I like literally love I shoes literally so love much. Shoes like so much. I wish I, I could had go more. But shopping I... like for like hours. Yeah. Do you want to go to the shoe store? I would store love to go to the shoe store. Like there's nothing more. Literally. Do you want to drive? Or do you want me to drive? <laughs> 
All right, this is it. I mean, what else do you want? Follow Manon want... wherever the. Fo she deleted all her shit. So you're not going to be able to find her Instagram. Maybe you go to a psychic. What? To figure out where the fuck she is because she's deleted all of her social media. TikTok. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, TikTok. Serious but She funny. is on TikTok. Podcast. Funny how it works out book. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else? Uh, no. That's... Our new sketch coming out soon. Oh yeah, we have a new sketch. We're going to go film that now. And if you want to fund our movie... Oh yeah, actually that's not a bad idea. Okay. Do you know who, have... suge Do you know who suggested that? Batch. He was like, those Manon sketches are great. Like, you guys should like start a GoFundMe and yeah. have people like fund your movie. I and I was they, like, would you do that? What? Answer, answer below. Like, do you guys want to see like a buddy comedy? Uh, a and a I? female buddy comedy? Like a Romeo Michelle's? I would die for it that. It wouldn't not. It I would literally not be, be so funny. I literally I would have never freak out. seen a funnier movie. I mean, just even making they it can't. would be so fun. No, I know. Forget about what happens or where it goes. Forget about just anyone watching doing it. doing it for the pleasure. Besides Chris and Eric. Forget They're about literally it. literally the only people that no are going to watch it. No one should edit it. We don't want to edit it. We don't. We, we just no want editing. footage. We just want to make it. Let's just perform okay. it. No one needs to film it. Okay. Oh, I like that. No yeah. camera. No camera. Wow, this is no really audience. innovative. <laughs> this is really innovative. Okay. No camera, no people around. No audience. We don't even need to get together. We shouldn't even say anything. No. Wait. We don't get Where together. Where can we pitch this? Nowhere. No. Oh my god. Thing is gonna happen. This is really brilliant. It already is. I think is. we should go have another pop of coffee and talk more. Pop of coffee. All right. Bye. Bye.